Hello, my name is Stephanie Etheridge Woodson, and I'm a professor in the Herberger Institute for Design and the Arts and a practicing theater artist and scholar. I've spent my career using my art in partnership with communities in order to affect positive and measurable change. And I want to talk about the ethics of engagement. But first, I want to provide you a bit of context for this discussion. I direct the Design and Arts Corps in the Herberger Institute. The Design and Arts Corps builds on the ASU Charter, centering access, equity, and purpose-driven research while taking fundamental responsibility for the economic, social, cultural, and overall health of the communities we serve. In partnership with community, we use art, design, and culture to consciously and measurably advance well-being and strengthen participatory democracy. The Design and Arts Corps was built to provide students real-world experience working with a community partner along with additional training in how to ethically leverage their creative skills in partnerships. The Herberger Institute is the largest comprehensive design and arts school in the United States. And when fully realized, the Design and Arts Corps will be the largest socially engaged arts and design program since the WPA, the Works Progress Administration, during the Great Depression. Which brings me back to the question, what are the ethics of community engaged arts and design? Let's be real for a moment. Universities as a whole do not have the strongest reputation for ethical community engagement particularly with marginalized populations. And arts and design themselves, historically, are heavily implicated in displacement, gentrification, and promoting illiberal ideologies. So the question I found myself wrestling with was, how can the Design and Arts Corps build an ethical framework for engagement that still allows for mistakes, the learning we need, and the human freedom to do and be what we imagine? Structurally, Design and Arts Corps depends on three core values to build our ethical bones. Abundance, equity and justice, and participatory democracy. Abundance. We understand communities, our partnering organizations, and ourselves as spaces and people of abundance. Rather than a frame of scarcity economics, deficits, or needs, we approach all that we do through a frame of abundance and asset. John McKnight and Peter Block wrote about this in their 2010 book, The Abundant Community. We don't need to operate on a half full glass to give value to the work that we do in partnership or the specialness of engaged arts and design. We organize Design and Arts Corps in the context of cooperation and satisfaction, not competition. We're responsible for one another and we live within the reality of the human condition. Our partners and our students are not a problem to be solved. Abundance seems so simple and yet profoundly impacts how we approach partnerships, learning, and failure. Asset-based partnerships mean that our community partners define themselves by who they are, not what they are missing. For example, you've probably all heard someone describe a young person as at risk. This label defines someone by what they lack or by their problems. The community-based arts and design practices at the heart of Design and Arts Corps instead use an asset-based approach. What assets does the community want to leverage in order to grow assets in another area? And how can arts or design contribute to that growth? Equity and justice. Look. We live in an inequitable world. For thousands of years, only certain kinds of people were allowed to participate in the public sphere. But diversity is an asset. Different kinds of people think through problems in different ways. Multiple research studies show that a heterogeneous group of people can more effectively figure out solutions to issues. A diverse team or corporate board are also more creative, more productive, and provide more return on investment. Learning to notice who is not at the table, but should be, that matters. Design and Arts Core values mutual respect among peoples and depends upon fostering reciprocal collaboration. Our work features a multi-directional flow of knowledge and creative problem solving, unlike a client relationship in which we provide our expertise and creative ideas in a transaction, 
or a service relationship in which we provide our labor for moral righteousness, Design and Arts Corps projects focus on equitable reciprocity. We leverage our creative skills in partnership with our community, and we never know where the answer to a problem will come from. That means we work to build inclusive environments of trust and fairness, where we do not shy away from acknowledging the traumas of the past or the diversities of individual human experience. Finally, participatory democracy. I understand democracy here not as a political system or a noun, but as a set of performance practices, a verb, that govern how we work with and across communities. The Design and Arts Corps turns ASU's stages and studios into sites of civic engagement within participatory democratic structures. When we understand democracy as a verb, then we have to start paying attention along three axes, depth, both the how and the quality of people's participation in our engagement, breadth, the number of individuals affected by our decisions who participate in decision-making processes, and range, the kinds of decisions in which people participate and decide. How many times have community-engaged programs been developed without any substantive participation from the very people targeted? The university often decides what people need then we build an engagement, and then solicit participants. A focus on participatory democracy, however, means that no project or partnership can take place without substantive community input into all decision-making processes, depth, breadth, and range. To return to the original question then, what are the ethics of community-engaged arts and design? Our three core values of abundance, equity, and justice and participatory democracy mean that I cannot answer this question alone, nor should I. If ASU's Herberger Institute is going to send thousands of students in the community, then community should be a deep part of answering this very question. What are the ethics of community-engaged arts and design? What does it mean to be a guest in someone else's home? we applied for and received a Lincoln Center Fellowship to consult with amazing community partners to help us build this ethical frame. And there is a companion video that highlights their discussion on these issues. Please check it out, and thank you.